OK, we're taking a look at the Seine Crossing map now. Here's your first thing. Now, this is kind of a sister map to Operation Metro. Again, it's Paris. It looks very similar, but as you'll see, it's smaller. In fact, this is probably one of the game's most intimate maps. Really suited for infantry gameplay, so good for squad deathmatch, that we're actually playing it on team deathmatch. Nice! Courtyards figure prominently in Seine Crossing. There's about three or four of them scattered around. Of course, they can be pretty lethal, with lots of spots for campers to take out anyone who happens to wander in. Of course, everyone has already noted it, but we'll say it again. The sound in Battlefield 3 is terrific. The background noise, the sound of your weapons, bullets and explosions, it's just an aural treat. It's a large part of what makes this feel incredibly authentic. Lots of nice dark spots in which to hide on this map. Nice example of the game's destructible environments there. When we played this, everything was unlocked, so you'll see us using a variety of weapons and upgrades and attachments. That's just another impressive thing about Battlefield 3. There's lots of customization available. We don't think anyone is going to find it lacking there. There you go, that's a little bit of action from the same crossing map. <laughs> 